What's up everyone? I'm Bobby Techno and today I'm going to show you how to get control over your devices, especially the ones that have the uh, new, not the brand new Android 7.0 Nougat, not yet, but the ones with Marshmallow, the uh, Android 6.0 and up, typically like the Nexus devices, like I've got the 5X here, um, I've got my son's uh, Nvidia Shield tablet and my uh, Nexus 7 2013, they all have Marshmallow. But we're gonna get control over these. We're gonna control our data. We're gonna control our cache. We're gonna see what is taking our storage away from us. And also figure out notifications. You know, the peaking, all that stuff that comes up on your phones, the things that you may not like and wanna get off of your phone and find out just exactly how much these apps that you install and all that stuff is taking over your phone to maybe free up some more space give you more data so you don't run out, especially those who don't have the unlimited plan. So now let's get to stepping. All right, for starters, let's go ahead and go to settings. All right, about phone. I'm on the Android version 6.0. Probably the 7.0 will have the same stuff, maybe something a little different, but who knows. So what I wanna do is show you on your device, and I'll show you over here on my son's uh, Shield tablet here in just a second, but not there. This is my daily driver. This is the phone I use every single day. So you want to start off with going down to apps. When you go to apps, this is going to display pretty much all the apps that you have on your device. All right. And in a second, all um, its memory or storage, I, I would say, is going to show up here. All right. And if you look here, like Amazon Music that I use quite often. All right, it's got 50, almost 51 megabytes. All right, so what you want to do is click on it. And this is how you're going to clean it up. Storage, 52 megabytes using an internal storage. Maybe I want to clear that up. Well, let's see. I don't want to really clear data. You probably could, but some uh, games that you have, you might not want to because then you might lose where you're at and your progress and stuff, but it's the cache over here, 28 megabytes. That's another app I could download. So you just pretty much click it and clear it. Done back up look at this data usage all right since june 5th whatever that's just two point you know gigabytes there well if i click it it's going to tell me four ground is 95 mega this is since august 23rd okay background i've used 540 like background like what the heck is that well usually for like amazon music it'd be like loading another video or excuse me music while you're listening to one song or if you listen to the song it kind of starts preloading the rest of that song so you know you can actually restrict app background data you can click that you know you can it'll tell you you know it might not work properly blah 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 but you can do it and under Wi-Fi it'll tell you how much you've used under Wi-Fi but cellular is what's most important for me because I need to know what I'm using here alright so you got that you can kind of see where you can, if you want to go to app settings, you can click that and you can go to the Amazon Music app settings, which talks about like streaming over Wi-Fi, things like that. You can make your adjustments there as well. So back out again. This just kind of shows you an app data usage. We'll back out one more time to get back to where we were. Permissions. Here's another good one. When you click permissions, these are all the things that Amazon Music is trying to ask permission for. So when you install a new app, it says, would you like to allow blah 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 you know and you're like yes no I, I don't know did, did I just allow something I didn't want well that's where you go apps app permissions and here you go you can turn it on you can turn it off and that's for individual apps alright so if you want to do all the apps at once and see what's going on click here like where I was back at the very beginning where it says apps and you click the little gear then app permissions Here's everything. These are how many apps are trying to gain access to my camera, contacts, location, microphone, phone, my messages, body sensors, and you click it and it tells you what it is. And you're like, well, I don't want Tasker to do that or watch premium, so just uncheck it. Back in out. Now we're going to go back into Amazon Music, where we were. Notifications. This is the problem that I have, is when this little peaking thing shows up or things come up there, I just don't want it. It just clogs up my notification area. So when you click there, you could block all your notifications, show it on the lock screen or not, disable, I mean, you could just see it all peaking. This is the one right here. Uh, Amazon Music doesn't really peak a whole bunch, so, but Facebook is horrendous about it, man. It just irritates me. 
So let me back out. And for that portion, that's pretty much the gist of it. So I'm going to go back, but I'm going to show you, like, let's say some, some of the data-hungry um, apps that I have. Facebook is pretty, pretty big, but it likes to store it. You know, see, 43, it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and clear it. I'm just not going to clear the data, but it's just a big app. It has a whole lot of things. See, so notifications, I put no peeking, things like that, permissions. There's a whole bunch of them for Facebook, so you can turn them on and off as you please. But one of them that really got me, and I was really taken back by it, was uh, Instagram. Well, it's probably because I've cleared it out not long ago. But storage. See, look, most of my storage, it's it's being, it's in the, the cache there. So I'm going to clear that because last time I checked, it was almost, I mean, it was like 500 and something megs. Same thing, permissions, notifications. All right. And you can scroll through all the apps that you have. Google Play Music is pretty pretty hungry as well and it um absorbs a lot of data so I, I restricted background because it just i mean it'll it'll eat it up and so especially google play me it will eat it up just remember that and storage you know it's large on storage because i've downloaded a bunch of music so that's about it um so once again you know you need to go down excuse me let me clear it right there and you go to your apps. So I'm going to just slide this aside and bring my son's uh, shield tablet in here. Okay. And what you want to do here is also the same thing, shield tablet. He's got a app optimization. There's the performance. There's other things you could do. But still, if you go to apps, now that I don't have data for this, I don't pay for a data plan. It's just straight Wi-Fi. But you could take a look if he's running low on space. And let's say like Crossy Road, okay, storage. You know, there's some storage left there. What's cool about this Shield tablet is right there, storage used, internal. I may want to change it to my external SD card because I formatted it to fit or to mimic an internal SD card pretty much. So I can transfer it and then boom, move Crossy Road over there and save up some of my internal space for other things. And there's some apps that just can't be moved. They stay there, but that's... A different story so same thing goes with that so I'm gonna slide that sucker aside and I'm gonna bring in my Nexus 7 2013 same exact thing settings oops up there apps and as soon as it populates same thing here it is and you can just definitely go through each individual app if you wish and just click on it go to storage and clear it clear the cache and then press on and keep moving through get rid of your notifications and also get rid of your permissions and stuff so I hope y'all like this video I hope it is somewhat you know informational for you so you can actually gain control of your devices and get back probably some of that data that you keep losing in your plans and wondering where it goes I only click on this or that you'll be so surprised how much data is being um, consumed so and at least here you can kind of control some of that so thank y'all for watching i'm bobby techno and i'm pulling chunks